All right, now it's time to look at the fifth root. Now, if you've gone through the square root, the cube root, and the fourth root, the fifth root is actually going to be easier than all of those. However, it can be kind of confusing because a lot of times when we're dealing with the fifth root, we're dealing with typically going to be larger numbers, and also we probably don't have as much practice. So these are definitely ones that you might see on a test or a quiz for your teacher to really kind of gauge your understanding. We all know we love when teachers just randomly throw problems that we barely reviewed in class. I may or may not have done that. But the good news is it's really actually that simple. As long as you remember, when we're trying to simplify radicals, the nth root of something raised to the nth power is just going to be able x. So when we have the fifth root, we're just looking for something being raised to the fifth power, which is going to be able to simplify into x. So in this first example, I have fifth root of two, which I know cannot be raised to the fifth power. And then I have z to the 51st power. So this one's kind of interesting because what we want to be able to do is rewrite that being to the fifth power. So how can I rewrite z to the 51st raised to the fifth power? Well, again, what I'm going to want to follow is my power rule. Remember, whenever you have an exponent raised to another exponent, you multiply the powers. So I want that power, that upper power to be a five. So what I can do is I can take the fifth root here of two and I can rewrite a Z to the 10th raised to the fifth power. Now that does not give me 51, but what does that give me? That gives me 50. So if I need to get to 51, well then I can just multiply by one more Z to the first. Now again, I can't simplify that, but that's fine. It, whatever cannot be simplified has to remain under the radical. So let's go ahead and break this up into stuff we can simplify and the stuff we cannot simplify. So what I can do is I can rewrite this as a z to the 10th raised to the fifth power, right? I got that, that's what I'm looking for. And then everything else is just gonna have to remain under the radical. It can't come along for the ride. So that's gonna be a two and a z. Recognize this follows that pattern that we first talked about. So the fifth root of this being, since it's raised to the fifth power, is just gonna be a z to the 10th. And then that's gonna be multiplied by the fifth root of a two z. So in this next example, we have a number and then three variables. But the cool thing about dealing with the fifth root is there's a very small set of numbers that you should really know. And 32, knowing that that is two raised to the fifth power is very helpful to know. Obviously, we can now go ahead and simplify this. Now for the variables, again, remember, I want these all to be raised to the fifth power. But since these are rather small, unlike 51, what I'm simply going to do in this case is just use the product rule. I'm just going to multiply them times x to the fifth times something else to get to my power. So let's go ahead and rewrite this as everything as I can raised to the fifth power. So now you can see what I did is I rewrote 32 as 2 to the fifth. I broke up a y to the seventh as y to the fifth times y squared, because again, that equals y to the seventh. And then I broke up z to the eighth as a z to the fifth times a z to the third. So now again, I can do it just like I did in my last example. I can separate these. I could break these all up in their own individual radical. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to break these up into the good and the bad. The good are going to be the ones that are already raised to the fifth power. And the bad are the ones that cannot be simplified. Good. And then times the bad. And now I can break these up individually, or we can just recognize the fifth root of two to the fifth is a two. The fifth root of x to the fifth is an x. Fifth root of y to the fifth is a y. Fifth root of z to the fifth is going to be a z times the fifth root of a y squared z cubed. Now, in the last example, nobody really wants to do, right? Nobody loves fractions, but fractions are real numbers too. So we can definitely do this problem. We just need to remember our rules of radicals. Just like I can break up a radical across multiplication, I can also break up a radical across division. So what I'm going to do is rather than thinking about this as one over 43, I'm going to rewrite this problem as a 243 on the outside times a fifth root of d to the fifth, b to the 25th, all over a 243. And again, remember, I can break this up now into the fifth root of my numerator over the fifth root of my denominator. So again, I have a 243. Now we could probably simplify this, right? Being raised to the fifth power since we're kind of in this mode now of simplifying. So let's go ahead and simplify this. So I already have D to the fifth. That's cool. Can I rewrite B to the fifth power as a 25? Yeah, that's just going to be B to the fifth raised to the fifth. And then what about 243? Can I raise a number to the fifth power to get 243? And guess what? We can. It's going to be three. So the fifth root of two or 43, I can rewrite that as three to the fifth power. All right. So now let's go ahead and simplify. And remember, everything is being multiplied by 243. So now let's go and simplify what I have here. So it's a 243. The fifth root of D to the fifth is going to be a D. The fifth root of B to the fifth is going to be a B to the fifth. And then the fifth root of three to the fifth is going to be a three. Now remember this 243 is in the numerator. So I can divide the three into 243, which is going to give me a 81 D times B to the fifth. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully this video was helpful for you. If it was, then go ahead and watch it all over again. I am just joking. If you have not already subscribed to my channel and you're looking for some amazing math content, <clears throat> then go ahead and subscribe. Check out my other examples I have for you down below or the next video I have for you here. Cheers.